Hi, Scott. How are you doing today? Excellent. How are you, Gilbert? Great. Keeping busy. So uh, maybe you can start off by just uh, refresh a bit of the memory of some of our newer audience here uh, about uh, the overview, the background about your company, Volution RX. Absolutely. Thanks, Gilbert. Pleasure to be back and uh, great to be in front of your audience again. Volition RX Limited is a publicly traded company ticker symbol VNRX on the NYSE American Stock Exchange. And we are a diagnostics company. We're developing blood tests to screen for different cancers, as well as other diseases in both animals and humans. So I saw your information. Now that you have defined your business into four distinct pillars, and uh, maybe you can tell me uh, that was more about those four pillars and which one has the most potential in your mind. Sure, I think they all have incredible potential. One is just called NUQ, and that's an acronym for nucleosome quantification. That's our human health studies in oncology. We're clinical stage in this vertical, so we have clinical studies underway or soon to commence. Uh, we're working to develop blood tests to screen for colorectal cancer, lung cancer, and two bloodborne cancers. Uh, these are big opportunities. Lung cancer is the uh, leading cause of cancer-related death in most countries. Colorectal is the second leading cause. So these are huge market opportunities for us. Uh, we are clinical stage. We're a commercial stage in our second vertical, NUQ VET, and we launched our blood test to screen for two common canine cancers in, in, uh, in dogs. A couple of years ago with Texas A&M University and then recently signed a large licensing deal with Pesca Corporation for them to sell our blood test for canines. Um, NUQ Nets is our third vertical and that is a, a human health program, non-oncology based, looking at uh, patients who have been diagnosed with COVID-19 or sepsis and looking to develop a blood test that will um, predict disease severity or likelihood of disease severity post-infection. Um, and then we have NUQ Discover, which uh, really is out of our uh, Belgian manufacturing facility. It's where we're going to be doing and already doing a bit of um, contract, contract manufacturing, sample processing, and antibody supply. So let's uh, maybe spend a bit of time to discuss a bit more on a couple of your recent developments here. The first one being a, a license supply agreement that you've signed with Hesker. Can you tell us more about it? Was, was that a major milestone in your company too? Major milestone for us. Um, it's, this is our first commercial product. It's a blood test to screen for two common canine cancers that account for about about one third uh, of all cancers diagnosed annually in canines. The reason this blood test is so important is because currently there are almost 80 million canines in the US. Six million of those develop cancer or are diagnosed with cancer each year. So a very significant percentage of canines get cancer each year in the US. The problem is the uh, vast majority of those six million canines get diagnosed because they're symptomatic. They're sick first and then they're diagnosed. And just like in human health, if you're sick and the underlying causal factor is a cancer, it's probably, unfortunately, a late stage cancer. Canines currently do not get screened asymptomatically for cancer. It's too expensive and too invasive and too risky to do so until now. And this is why HESCO is so interested in our blood test because our blood test is inexpensive It'll be priced likely under $100. It's fast. The point of care results can come back in minutes. Reference lab can process in a matter of a couple of days. It's very convenient. It's a simple blood test and it's accurate. Our clinical studies demonstrated around 80% accuracy in identifying these two types of canine cancers. Um, HESCA and Volition signed a licensing and supply agreement. It involves HESCA paying Volition up to 28 million milestone payments. 10 million has already been received. The additional 18 million we expect next year and the year after once certain milestones are achieved. Uh, and then we have ongoing uh, revenue per every test that HESCA sells either through the reference lab or through, uh, through the point of care. So really excited about this. It's a, um, it's a great validation of our technology 
It's a great partner. They've been excellent to work with so far. Financially, it's, uh, it's really beneficial in terms of our balance sheet and ongoing revenue going forward from 2023 and beyond. Exciting stuff there. On, on your second uh, news that I want to talk about is uh, announced about your recent launch in Singapore on your new QFAT uh, cancer test. So maybe you want to talk about that one too. I know these things doesn't uh, really happen overnight. Uh, it, it takes a bit of a time to develop, right? That's correct. So that's another licensing deal that Volition signed with Sage Healthcare out of Singapore in December of 2021. Um, obviously, Singapore is a, a smaller market than the United States, but demographic trends are favorable for us. Canine ownership is growing in Singapore. Um, frequency of canine visits uh, is increasing in Asia and other Asian countries. Um, so the demographic trends are positive. It's obviously a smaller um, licensing deal for us, but it really gives us a nice foothold um, in Singapore, in the Asia Pacific region. And Sage has a great reputation and some great relationships there. So we're excited uh, for that opportunity and that licensing agreement as well. So in summary, what, what kind of uh, catalyst or news or flow and uh, investors should be following or uh, looking out for Evolution Alex in the next 12 months? In the next 12 months, it's it's really um, HESCO launching the uh, Volition blood test or the HESCO Volition blood test, both through their point of care technology, where we've given them exclusive rights, and also through their reference labs, where they have non-exclusive rights. Um, the milestone payments associated with that, hopefully a nice ramp in terms of revenue for Volition as HESCO begins to sell the blood test either later this year or into 2023. Additional data from our net studies, uh, which we're running in the, in the United Kingdom, really excited about our opportunities in mitosis um, to identify patients that are likely to develop the very severe symptoms of COVID-19 or sepsis infection. Um, ad hopefully additional data on our human health studies, uh, both in colorectal and lung over the course of this year and next year, and ideally continued ramp in terms of um, third-party contract manufacturing sample processing through NUQ Discover, in addition, um, hopefully more scientific uh, research publications and additional patents that will hopefully begin to file and, and see additional patents granted. So really excited about the next 12 months and beyond for Volition RX Limited. So do a lot of things uh, to hope to happen. Uh, will be a good growth uh, potential for investors to continue to follow uh, Volition RX here. Absolutely. We hope that uh, your, your, your investors and your followers continue to watch the Volition RX story as it develops, to continue following our news releases, developments, um, and, uh, and hopefully continue just to follow what we think is a really exciting story, doing a lot of good for both human and animals in terms of uh, catching diseases earlier and saving more animal and, and human lives. Thank you, Scott, for uh, here uh, sharing your story and update with us here today. I believe you're also going to join us uh, in a few weeks' time to present uh, Solution Alex 2 in our June conference. So I uh, look forward to hearing uh, you there as well. Looking forward to presenting at the June conference as well. And thanks, Gilbert, for having us, and thanks for your continued interest in Volition RX. Sure. Thank you for your time. I will chat with you next time. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.